This is a review that was long overdue, but life kept making its way in. So anyway, here it is. Mario Kart Live was launched by The Big N on October of 2020. Remember that year? Yeah? Well, so do I. This fun little experience was launched to celebrate Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, and it sold over 1.3 million copies worldwide. Now, before we start playing, Vanya and I have to get our driver's license to get started. And before getting back to the topic at hand, I wanted to make something special out of this review. And speaking about review, I want to talk about this more as an experience rather than the technical aspects. Bye, mommy. So, me, Bane, and my friends created this kick-ass track using stuff from my personal retro gaming collection. And even Simba was excited with all this crap in his living room. Maybe not that excited, a little mad. As expected, to this very day, Nintendo keeps innovating in gaming technology. The camera that's integrated into the cart blew my mind. I don't know how, but the quality is pretty good. And it might not seem that way in this video, but that's because my capture card didn't have all the best settings while I recorded this footage. Bye -bye. Bye. The camera uses a type of augmented reality. I'm not a nerd, I'm a geek, so I don't know all the ins and outs about this stuff. I'm just astonished by how the frank does this thing recognize the little cardboard stuff that comes with each cart. Speak of the devil, the material is pretty sturdy, and it can take quite a beating that withstands a lot of bumps and crashes along the way, and it will not dent. <laughs> en el conejo, pero se ha sagrado. Pero entonces loco. <laughs> you had the option of getting Mario or Luigi. I give Luigi as a birthday present to my best friend Bunny. So we are finally playing with these babies. It would have been nice to get at least two more characters, like Peach or maybe Bowser, but oh well, oh. you win Peachy. some, you lose some. Oh, oh! So yeah, the game is basically Mario Kart. It controls exactly like Mario Kart 8 while using your regular Switch Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller. The only downsize is that the carts are made for small or medium tracks in a physical space land. What do I mean by that? Well, we made a big ass track in Vanna's living room. And as we pass the rabbit hole, and yes, it's literally a rabbit hole, we had connection issues after that threshold. When my other friends were playing, I had to be Laquito in this part of the track because of the connection problems I said before. Bottom line, don't make gigantic tracks. Like I said before, you are using your available space and because of that, you create your own custom course. 
Mario or Luigi tires, get splastered with purple jizz, and you decide where to go from there. There are a number of courses, I guess, more like skins with different obstacles and enemies. Some of them are pretty cool, but I think in most of them, they went way overboard. There is just too much shit on the screen that I can't make any of it. I mean, I get it, it's still very impressive. But sometimes, we just played without the official quote-unquote course, like just a regular race and no crap on the screen, and I think it's more enjoyable that way. As you beat tracks, you unlock more skins for Mario and Luigi and you can see their outfits on your Switch or on your TV. I can't stress this enough, this technology is outstanding. On the screen you'll see the regular Mario Kart stuff with your power-ups. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, because it was so distracting with all the Koopalings running towards you. I mean, I don't get it. Why can't they just be competing against you? Instead, they're going the other way around. It's, it's kind of annoying. In conclusion, I recommend the hell out of Mario Kart Live. You gotta take this into account, you won't be playing this every single day, and that's not a bad thing, but it's fun factor, it's best with friends around. You don't have to do what I did with all the memorabilia in the track, because you know, it's very time consuming. But really, just roll the dice and give this game a try. And that's it guys. Take care of my little Carcomaniacs and thank you for watching Carcomo Gaming. See you on the next one.